What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Column Tour podcast. Today's guest is the legendary great Kurt Metzger. Um, he just left Wild um, Brain. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. But before we get going, you, if you want to get an extra episode of this podcast every week, head off to patreon.com slash column Uh It's a great way for you to support the show. And it keeps the lights on. And you also get a lot of uh, extra content. So if you've got $5 to spare, consider heading over there. I've got dates um, coming up. I'm, you know, Collie's a headliner now. The headliner Collie days are ahead of us. And Hollywood. Collywood, the elite is growing. Um, shout out to everyone that saw me um, open for Ari Shafir in Pittsburgh. I'm going to be back there headlining um, in the end of the year sometime. Uh, so hopefully come see me there. But I've got dates. Um, I'm in Florida, Tampa, um, coming up the end of the month. Next month, I'm in Austin. I've got Poughkeepsie in February. I've got Hartford in February. I'm organizing stuff in um, Chicago. Also, I'm going to do a California run. <clears throat> on the 16th, it's not on sale yet, but on 16th of March, um, the day before St. Patrick's Day, I'm going to be headlining in San Diego. Then on March 17th, St. Patrick's Day at the Comedy Store, the first annual Column Terrell and Friends, St. Patrick's Day in LA. Um, come out to that. Tickets are going to be cheap um, so far. These are subject to change. You know how the LA dickheads are. Kurt, Ricky Glassman, Rick, the glass, the glass master. <laughs> The gla the glaster? The glassman? Ricky Glassman. Um uh fucking Porter. Jo uh, sorry, Josh Potter. Um and someone else. I can't even remember. But the lineup's gonna be fucking stacked. Head out March 17th. Also, I wanna announce. We're getting to the show in a second. Midnight Circus, I'm gonna be hosting at midnight. March 10th. So I guess March 10th into March 11th at the Stand Comedy Club. It's a Friday night, New York City. If you can buy tickets to any show I ever do, this is the one. It's a variety show. We got Big J on the lineup. We got Louis J. Gomez on the lineup. We got fucking Dave Smith. <laughs> Dave Smith's not on it, but uh, I could ask him. Um, Tim Budley's on the lineup. We've also got like, it's a weird variety show. It's going to be nuts. I'm doing shrooms. I encourage you to do shrooms or acid or molly. It's going to be a weird show. It's a variety show. It's Called Midnight Circus. I'm putting a lot of time and effort into this show. If you ever think about coming to see me doing anything, this is the one I want to fucking pack it out. And it's going to be nuts, you know? Uh, it's circus team, neon circus, fucked up, trippy themed, weird shit. Um, I'm going to get a dog. I'm going to get dancing dog. I'm going to get one of the top dancing dancing dogs of fucking America's Got Talent or something like that. Do you know, whoever beat Preacher Lawson. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever knocked Preacher Lawson out, so a dog that played poker or something, <laughs> they're going to be doing it. But I promise you, if you're a fan of me and you've ever been thinking about coming to the mountain, come see that. Um, I'm also going to be adding dates all across the country um, constantly. So go to columntyrell.com for all those tickets. Appreciate it. Um, obviously, support C Kurt Metzger. Go see him live. Check out his podcast. He also does a lot of stuff for Carl Dunnigan. Kurt's one of the best. Um, great comedian. And I um, hope you enjoy the show, guys. You can go. Underwear that's not made for Caucasian complexions, put it that way. Yeah. It's like zebra stripes and shit. I sell the sheet. Sheet. Yeah. She wears like, oh, do you ever get tired of your dick touching your balls? I've never even thought about it. <laughs> and like, I've never used the pocket once. No, I tried it once as a joke, kind of. I didn't care for it. Um, I like to be on un un holes. Un <laughs> actually, actually, well, you know what? Let's let's pretend we love it because I do have to sell this shit. Yeah, no, I, I Ridge, sell Ridge wallet, Kratom. Yeah. I would like a Ridge wallet, you know. I would try it for a few days and then get rid of it. The Kratom or the Ridge Wallet? The Ridge Wallet. I can't Why? imagine. I just can't imagine changing. I have a wallet. I have a regular wallet. Does it not take cash? I've always got wads of cash with me, like a fucking. In LA, I haven't been paid cash in a while. So like, since yeah. I got back here, it's uh, I'm shocked at the amount of cash that I have. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, it feels like yeah, it feels like a lot. But then when you work it out, you go, actually, they're paying me nothing, actually. Yeah, it just feels like more. I, I saw someone posted an old um, Boston Comedy Club, and um, like a check-in sheet kind of thing. You would sign yourself in. Mm -hmm. Did you do Boston? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's um, the first one I did here. Was it on its way? What, where was it in the when you moved here? Like As in, like was it like on its way out kind of thing? Or did that close um, abruptly? No. It, was it considered good? What was it? I guess I only had a couple years left when I got here, but it wasn't on its way out. It didn't seem like it was when Barry Katz owned it. Yeah. And then they had a lot of spillover, like it's right by the cellar. So they had a bunch of comments. And then there was like a weird thing where like people couldn't work the cellar and the Boston, but I wasn't oh. in the cellar then. So it didn't matter to me. And then, uh, was it only, did it only exist because as a spillover? Cause like you've got like the, the, the grand bunch of comics there and there's a comedy club. I don't know if they didn't like the Barry open cats. I, you know, that was before I got there, but, yeah. um, 
There's a bunch of people there. I started out doing the Black Night, which was um, Will Sylvans and yeah. Talent hosted it. It was nice. uh, Uptown Comedy, I think. That's what they called it. Maybe it wasn't. No, it was, it was not up. It was not. It was um, <laughs> Chocolate Sundays, was it? No. Oh. Uh, mm, uh, that sounds like a LA show. I it, I think they they all call it that. <laughs> I think every <laughs> single one of them calls it Chocolate. Fair Sunday. enough. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember, but that was a good show. And then they claim it's trademarked, but like, you know, black guys are always claiming things are trademarked. And it's like, I don't think you, I think you just pretended that is. Do you remember that battle over the roast battle? Yeah. Shit? And then I didn't know that guy named Rel Battle. That was his last name. You know <laughs> so, that? Yeah. Rel Battle. Wait, that was not his real last name though, was yeah, it? Yeah, his last name was Oh, battle. I thought he chose that because of the show. Of course. It sounds like it, doesn't it? <laughs> what a goofy. Yeah, yeah, so there yeah. Was, so he had a real claim. <laughs> I never thought the Jeff Russell was going to fuck you. He should have made like real battle or something. That's what I would have done is just retooled it. Roast battle. Was that just a coincidence or was he genuinely he's like, this is cool. This is they cool. had a split over. This is cool. Did he work backwards? He was like, all right, some sort of battle. And then he worked back to roast. He's like, my name is battle. It sounds like God gave him the <laughs> destiny, but I don't know how much everybody <laughs> thought of in it. I don't want to give the wrong credit, but I just know there was a dispute. Fucking battles became gay fast, didn't they? Weren't they like, a, they were like cool for a little bit. Well, I, remember, I remember when you did your, you did yours with I did. I Berg, mean, right? I blew the guy after my first battle. That, <laughs> <laughs> so it yeah, was always course. gay for me. Yeah. But. <laughs> when I get to blow job. Yeah. It was just, it was, it was interesting for a while. It was like, oh, cool battling. And then it was just quickly. It was like, oh, this is like just fucking. Well, it's, that's still at the store. It's the, yeah, in it's the gay. belly room. The best way to see that I think is at the comedy store in the fucking belly room. Yeah. That's yeah. Cause the whole vibe of it is right for that. And like, guess you know people you just go in and judge like if i'm there i can just go in and judge just like a fun show yeah um what happened was it got copied a lot right yeah like a um, bunch of people lewis did one a bunch of people had their rel battle did one here yeah. too yeah 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 I think and then, he might still be going is he Maybe. yeah like the, it works as that belly room thing the reason how you're supposed to be your friends so yeah that's what a roast is it's supposed to be friends I, that love you <laughs> I, I, I love the roast of like a like a panel or whatever you want to, like a yeah. diary i like them they're fun but i well, think when, when you battle it's like it i mean and then what it became is is like a bunch of like five to seven year comics you, settling you, like meaningless uh who's betters with each other yeah. and it all in la it's always because always like somebody brings up someone's dead parents <laughs> oh that's great that's great it's, it's got, i love when you, you go know, too far or when it's they like out of the first out of the gate because it's not even people that are i think it's more likely that they know each other there because they're it's it looks like some yeah. kind of maybe i'll say open micers but you know like a four three or four years in there's, la there's been a few times when people have asked them specifically like look do whatever you want just don't mention this and then the person goes oh, okay sure and then goes immediately when oh, oh really? he raped the girl <laughs> and everyone's like oh wait if you have to ask someone not to mention that <laughs> <laughs> well that chick remember that chick when we had those rape allegations against her who some chick i don't know but there was like a rumor of like she, she, how did she do it fing, finger like passed out someone was passed out she was the like, old, fingering them she ron jeremy the L just grab it while you can technique. <laughs> <laughs> he was declared unfit to stand trial, Ron Jeremy. Because of dementia? Yeah. Yeah. Sick, dude. Some people just get The guy away don't know it. where he is. He's just like, Ugh. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah that, at what point, that's the scary thing about having dementia too, is like, what's going to come out? Because the other stuff you think about uh, every day and you go, I'm not saying that. Dude, he's like, I know he's some kind of super intelligent guy too, because there's a documentary about him. Really? Yeah, Jay. I remember me and Jay watched it years ago, mm. and uh, and Big, Big Jay like, I I refuse to feel bad for this guy. It was because the documentary is how <laughs> he cut, like his mom helped crack the Enigma code or something in World War Two. Oh wow! It's like a mathematician, and Ron Jeremy's like a classically trained pianist or some really? shit, and he's like playing piano. <laughs> we're, we're smacking it with. Yeah, a big he dick. comes from like a good family, and yeah. he's just a a despicable glutton, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> But so it's called it's called uh, the legend porn star, the legend of Ron Jeremy, and then that's where they got Anchorman, the legend of Ron Burgundy. Oh, from that. oh, wow! Yeah, when that came out. I was like, oh, that's based on that Ron Jeremy movie. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, I, not porn, but you know, I loved hear, hear, hearing him complain about the new age porn stars, and he was kind of calling them all hacks. You know, he was like, because they have uh, Viagra. That's what he was saying. He was like, cheaters. In my day. You yeah, have to right. get hard for real. None of this shit. No, you have, <laughs> you have to be severely molested. And <laughs> yeah. 
You got to be just turned on, like and everyone have, watching. Uh, yeah, some kind of compulsion that that we have treatment for now. Could you ever? Could you ever do it? Could you ever like fuck? Like that in front of camera, and like if like who, like how like Ron Jeremy eating a cake off the woman. Yeah, I guess <laughs> I, <laughs> that's Just what like, he's doing in it. He's eating a slice of cake off of a chick he's fucking in the documentary. Oh wow, yeah, he had a fucking piece on. But his, I don't think he had a particularly pretty dick, did he? Like of all the dicks I've seen, because it, it was too big and just flop, like, it was like flopping down, kind of, wasn't it? It wasn't like I, a hard. I only see the relative size of them. I'm like dick blind, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't see past that. I can't see past size. Like uh, I don't know if it's racist, but, but it's something mm. prejudicial. You, 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 yeah. I don't like observe like if the helmet fits the, I, <laughs> the I, chef. I, yeah, I guess I'm a little gay. I guess I don't know. I, I do look at a couple. You might just have be a doctor. I've just got, I've got a good eye for detail. That's all there is. I, I could be a surgeon. You're right. <laughs> I do, but I do look at cocks and go, nah. No way. At cuts? Is that what you said? Like cocks. I just look at the, oh, oh, sorry. Oh. But I look at the, the. I thought you said cuts like their circumcision line. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's a bad cut. Ooh. Where'd you, yeah, where'd you get that? Some back alley circumcision, dude? Where did you get it done? <laughs> at a vet? Ooh, that's a great cut right there. That's a that's a top yeah. top quality. It's not surgeon. the nicest helmet, but it's got a good cut to it. You know, a, I can see that. You know, I've, I, a few people in Ireland because we don't go, we don't get cut in Ireland. No, but, no, it's just it's natural, baby. Yeah, uh, but I've a few friends over the years who've had to get cut year, later on. Why? Because well, your foreskin's fucked up. Sometimes some people are born with. Um, like a fucked up foreskin. So you can be born with an I don't want the headache of a foreskin. I know it's, I was victimized by this circumcision I had as a boy, as a, as a 32 year old boy. <laughs> I, but I was, uh, I don't remember it. I don't remember the pain of my genital mutilation. So I don't care. Like I'm not traumatized. Jehovah Witness, right? Yeah, but, but just in America, they but just, just, but that's just an American thing. So that's the power of the Israel lobby. <laughs> It is wild that it got taken over. Then right? why do we have circumcision? <laughs> <laughs> the Saudis <laughs> and the Zionists. We do need to hear it. So. They have a treaty. <laughs> oh, can I have that coffee? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just pass it over there. Don't don't worry about it. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave Caggiano. I'm gonna be drinking coffee on camera. Co coffee boy, extraordinary. Thank you. You Thank have you. that you know you know What's which is which? Yeah. You do? Yeah. All right, sick dude. Hell yeah, dude. I'm well, not for the best. <laughs> What? Did you just did, give the just fuck it nice? Go follow Dave Caggiano online. Obviously, Kurt, do you have anything to plug? You know, I mean, well, I don't know when this comes out. When does this come out? Like a few days. Oh, I maybe got a week. hilarities in Cleveland. Oh, um, nice. But that's like uh, tomorrow and Saturday. Oh, Please. well, I heard you crushed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you why I didn't crush at the Fat Black. Uh, not the the bar, but the not okay. The first. You know, I know the, the, the Comedy Cellar Complex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The <laughs> I don't know which TV on the feed it is, but it's the <laughs> one Mad Dog or James now. He don't go by Mad Dog. No, Mad Dog's a, it's, a, it's an insult to call him by Mad Dog. Dude, I. He evolved from Mad Dog to James. Like a Pokemon. Okay, years ago, I'm like, why well, don't even have the name Mad Dog? And then <laughs> it, it, I got stuck on saying it. I know. And I'm like. Sometimes I'll say Mad Dog just to fuck him, just to fuck with him. I'm and doing he, it out of no malice. Of course, of course. But you can't be Mad Dog. You can't. You can, first of all, you can't say I'm Mad Dog and then also turn around and go, actually, I'm not Mad Dog. I know, There's not no to me. I'm an old dog. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Kurt's great. Um, so that was the that was the bar. Oh, yeah. It's not that I bombed, but it, I would call it a bombing of... Uh... Wasn't great a reaction, I'll be honest. But you're great. Did you great. see it? Were yeah. You, oh, you're there. I so, was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because I watched But yeah, them. I feel like you're a great comic, so that is even if they yeah, don't. Yeah, I don't put it on me. Of, of course. No, but genuinely, I think you're a great comic. Naturally, I blame the crowd. I would almost say, the, no, but uh, you know what? I've seen Stanhope have rough sets, and I go, that's great. And I'm, I'll I'm, commit, I'm like, I'm I'll like commit that with you. all the way to it. But I'm like that with you. Yeah. I, I, last night, I was like, that's great. It's like, fuck this crowd. But a lot of times. That's all I got out of the crowd. It's usually the opposite. Like No, because I open up, as soon as I said that, like I was trying to talk about monkey pox being ass fucking pox and I'm, I'm like, oh, they're taking it. LA's less like that. LA's fucking not as not touchy. even dude. And oh, you right? know what they got touchy about? Why? And these are things that usually work for me. When I said uh that, you know, is it wrong to invade the sovereign nation of Ukraine? And I was like, but did it cure COVID? Kind of. <laughs> oh my God. The looks and I'm like, so it just took me aback because I'm like, wait, so are they like, I don't get this, or are they like I can't believe you would say that. First of all, COVID is extremely important. 
still oh, to me. Yeah. And I, Ukraine is even more important. And I hold both of those at the same time in my heart. <laughs> These were all like the yeah. dipshit, like COVID Ukraine people live, right? Yeah. New York uh, now? And it's a lot of tourists too from fucking Europe who probably have a different kind of, underst- I think, you know? Yeah. I, don't think they, I don't think New York audiences are the best. Fucking Ireland. I don't know that one guy and the, the lady that looks like she's in the Muppet Show band. <laughs> what? I have no idea. Irish politicians. There's two of them that always go up and say the fucking truth about it. And they're like, fuck you. Like, I, oh. I like both of them. Damn. One of them has like Billy Connolly hair. Oh, I, I, always, I don't know what the government system is, but the. Um, who are you talking about? Mar- Mary. Uh, it's a blonde chick that looks like she's from pavement, not pavement. Uh. I, I don't know. One I'm so, I'm so out of the loop with Irish stuff too that I haven't a clue. I never listened to yeah. it at all. But no, never changes. Isn't it? They always have a different guy. And told, it's when you fun. fled on a steamship here, and <laughs> 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 I was I hid in a cra- like in a donkey, <laughs> like like fucking Don Carleone. <laughs> Had to get out of there. Well, you came in with your big floppy hat and suspenders <laughs> yeah. and uh, short pants. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was I was selling newspapers for when I first got here. Yeah. Um, did you get Madonna? Yeah. Oh, shut you on camera. I don't give a fuck, dude. This is like this is legit. This is the the uh, the world's what's what we call it the best underground podcast. Underground. We're rebranding as underground because it's not That's popular. T- <laughs> the trick is to like use your Thanks. weaknesses, turn them into your strengths. So we, we're underground now. The strength of eating into a microphone. <laughs> no, this is legit. This is what people want. This is real. This is real stuff. Now you wouldn't get that on Gas Digital. Lewis never bought you a donut, did he? Dickhead. <laughs> For no reason. Fuck Lewis. Dude. <laughs> um, um, I mean, I wouldn't hold that against him. A guy, guy's trying to get in good shape. You know, probably be me a healthy snack. Oh, what he? Oh shit. Yeah. All right. Yeah, um, he's a big workout guy. Uh, yeah, but the, I was in LA not too long ago. Actually, um, uh. Just a reminder, St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, I'll be at the Comedy Store, the Belly Room, Colum Terrell and Friends. Um, if you're in town, you're more welcome to come by. Where? The, the, the Belly Room and the, the, the yeah. Comedy Store. I'll text you after. We'll see, figure it out. Wait, yeah. tell me the date again. March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. So it might be fucking nuts. I think I don't think I have anything. Sick, dude. Just book someone. So there you go, folks. <laughs> Obviously, if you're watching this, you're a fan of Kurt. So if you're in LA, come out to that show. It's going to be great. Yeah, come yeah. to the Belly Room. But yeah. I just saw... Um, <laughs> That's a fucking promo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on in. He's just thinking like, what's going? What's happened to me? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> um, feel free to cancel. It's a fun. Uh, but there was a guy doing comedy, and he had like a like a an f word. I'm not gonna say f word. I'm trying to. Uh, he had a faggot bit about the word. Oh yeah, about the word. It's and the gay n word. I don't know what the bit was, but he said it like a hundred times during the set. Who did? Some comedian. I don't know his name, but it worked. I was like, you would never be doing that to seller. I don't think. Um. Yeah. I because seller. Like the crowds are like more touchy in New York, but the stereotype. It didn't is used that. to be. It used to be L.A. It's, yeah, that's the that's this. But the okay, the vill- the big one under the underground. Yeah. They were not like that. You can get away with a lot more at the underground. I think because it was a dark. blacker crowd, dude. Was it? There was just more of like not, not white fucking dickheads. But it's a specific. What area. are you? You're like kind of. You're kind of. Well, a bunch of Muslim or something. What are you? <laughs> Turkish? What are you Turkish? <laughs> no, I'm not. I would say you're a Turk, dude. If you had a machete, I wouldn't be surprised. A lot. <laughs> when I've been in Glendale, a lot of them said to me, "I'm like, no, dude." <laughs> like, I get Russian. You, you Turkish? I know. I get oh. I get Russian all the time. People come and go. Yeah, like Polish, Polish, Polish or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some sort of dirty. Uh, no, I'm German, Italian, and uh, Russian, and Slovenian. Russian, Slovenian. Oh. It's like a quarter of all of them. Um, I, you probably started in black rooms then if you started with Jay, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kevin Hart, huh? Wow. What was he like? <laughs> same exact <laughs> fucking uh, charisma, height, and uh, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so the car- same size. So charismatic. I hate him. Like, I like him. Well, you know. Um, he's just always selling. Every he's time, like, smart, that dude. I, he, like, you know, I got into this to be like a jerk off. Yeah. And I was, and I am. <laughs> you nailed and it. He, yeah, <laughs> and I nailed it. And uh, but he was like a business immediately. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. did all the shit you should do. Yeah, that I wouldn't even think of doing. Yeah, it's, but Ke- I think Kevin Hart's a good example of so where I could ever be famous. I know I can't be because I look at him. You can tell like he's even if he's advertising Chase or something. He's like it's like I that's like one shot for that guy. 
Whereas even now I'm like, um, what do you mean one shot? Like if they film it, I'm, I'm sure he just goes by chase and it works. Whereas I'm like, oh yeah, I, that's I what I mean. He's that. got charisma. That's I can't, what it is. I can't sell anything. I'm like, please come to my show at the belly room. No, that you have to get. I don't have this kind of. They have to cast, you know, towards your your strengths. Yeah, some sort of weird alcoholic. Yeah. yeah, like <laughs> some kind of alcoholic and yeah, yeah, who says shite a lot. Yeah, this is a yellow tooted character. That's my that's that's my <laughs> description. We yellow tooted hillbilly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, sure. Chase is looking for a yellow toothed <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> my, my, my age rings. <laughs> it sounds g- really He's good. Scre- screaming off the table. I'm going to need you to either lose a few more teeth or get no better problem. teeth. They're loose. They're already loose. <laughs> no problem. I think I can do like a pogues thing with you. <laughs> yeah, but you, so you started in the black rooms and then you said it was a, a relatively less white audience. But also the village underground, it's so, it's so big. People laugh in the shadows. There's no shadows. A lot yeah, of it's time. great, that one. And then um, yeah, the regular the seller, I did okay. I should have just talked to the crowd. I watched a fucking tell set, and I was like, I don't want to tell. I like hate all my jokes now. You so follow the tell then? Or, or different No, sets? I didn't oh. follow him. I, no, he always goes last. Yeah, yeah. But um, the first night I got there, I watched it. He was like killing me. Yeah. He was fucking, I, 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 fucking hysterical. Yeah, yeah. It's when he... When he works at the set, I know. That's the goes, best place. I would say day. that's where you should see him over like anything. Yeah. Late night in McDougal. Incredible. <clears throat> but I'm like that sometimes if Louis does that, what happens is Louis talks so, I don't know, the way he sells jokes, it's almost like they're, they're yeah, hilarious. Yeah, like no, uh, yeah. And, like then I, not, and, then yeah. You, and then I go, oh yeah, I should. And then I go up and like halfway through the setup, I go, oh no, <laughs> I'm not this yeah, at all. right. Yeah. If, if, when it's not going, that's when you see how... <laughs> So you find out how long your setups truly are <laughs> when you feel it not going over. I feel like a deadly, I don't know what I was doing last. Oh, they got fucked up when I talked about transabled. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trans is another one that they just go, ooh, they pull back on. And- but they always they always have to get, I, I love saying that. That they're better than women, and, and oh, yeah. I love saying it. And then yeah, just dominating sports, yeah, right? like because they have to like give it to you if they don't want to. But they, you can see the thing, like I don't know if this is. Yeah, I haven't seen that in a long fucking time. You should be trans. You should if you're a man and you're like the top two hundred athlete in the world, you should be a trans woman and win gold. Like mentality, the winner of winner's mindset is a win at all costs, right? Cheat no I matter know- what. So you should. It be is a, the ultimate. Yeah, it is the ultimate. Well, okay. Like if you talk to like a psychopath like LeBron, and you go, "Do you reckon if you heard of someone who became trans on purpose to win, what do you think?" They go, "You gotta win," you know. Like see, these guys have like this winner's thing. It's like you gotta win at all. Well, costs. I'll tell you what you're not gonna hear is is uh, any of the men's sports going. Oh, these female to male <laughs> yeah. trans players are killing us out here. <laughs> it's not even fair. Is there even a single sport? Not this even. dude used to be a woman. <laughs> <laughs> what is, what are, you know how great women are. Oh, it's professional nagging. Yeah. <laughs> what are they, what's the competition? Well, I heard the in, um, you know, in skateboarding, it don't really matter is from what I understand because kids sometimes beat adults at that. So there's not really any puberty involved. What about horse racing too? There's a lot of female jockeys because they're tiny. A lot of just female jockeys. Not a lot of them, but it's still dominated by men. I think sports in general, just there's more men doing it, right? Women, don't, they don't like moving. Well, the okay. There are women that like sports, really like sports, right? And mm. here's what, it, much like comedy, mm. it's a very similar thing that happened with comedy in, back in like 2013, where a bunch of people that are like either, I don't know, well-to-do, like a higher class than me, great of people, are like, they've taken up a call and like, oh, this is like, and they don't really give a shit about the actual thing. You know, like I buy art and it's just to put money into. Yeah, yeah. That's what all the, everything is. So, especially comedy, like it's the least important part of a, <laughs> of a thing. Yeah, yeah. The thing you say Ke- yeah, Kevin could do is like, Chase, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> the important thing. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't really matter. Like they're just humoring you with the idea that you it matters who wins and your skill. You understand, like, so with sports, same thing. It's people that aren't into sports. There's like your your average, I don't know, uh, someone who reads the Atlantic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they're like, oh, who cares who wins? It's a participation trophy shit. Like, it's yeah. it's 
insulting. It's like condescending. It's like, I would just let him put play, play like your, your child yeah. and your mom. There's some kid that you don't want to play. Come on, just let him join your game. Yeah. Let your sister play your game. You play your thing. Yeah. And, and they're just doing that. It's like that tall. You're a child. So yeah. people are really into this shit. Meanwhile, it's sports. These are like I was people talking. taking every kind of fucking hormone. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> so they know what's performance enhancing and what's not better than a fucking some yeah. dipshit from here that you probably know a dozen of. Yeah. Everyone should be on roids. Everyone should be on roids. I think the average person should be on roids. Get, let's get our bodies. Let's all get jacked. Let's just Shouldn't fucking just roid it up. Roids. What? Shouldn't do that. No? Why not? What's the problem? Wait till you're old and then you get it. But do, if surely, you got plenty of testosterone. Surely you do it now. By the time you get old, it's like it will pay off more. You know, it's like saving. No, right? it's not. Okay. That is not how those work. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, <laughs> Your attitude to ruin. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the, uh, quite the opposite, actually. Is okay, that, uh, all right. Because right. <laughs> I'm roided up and I have no savings. Yeah. So. Spent all my money on roids. Wait, right, we just mentioned, I just forgot. Can you pull up the uh, Fonzie about the um, the Tiger King girl? Uh, yeah. Carol Baskin? I don't know if this was true or not because I saw it on Instagram today or last night. And the point being that um, the FBI, the, the FBI, oh, there's my Irish accent popping out. FBI, oi, oi, FBI, oi, oi, oi. The FBI. <laughs> no. Uh, so Carol Baskin, um, the well, remember what did she do? What's up, my cats and kittens? And um, we obviously viral sensation during the COVID, which was the Tiger King era, which was we, which we thought was the end of COVID at the time. Wait, he was found alive. Yeah, he just fled to fucking uh, Puerto Rico. Wow. So apparently Carol Baskin's um the the husband that she she was accused of murdering. Wait. And I, I had my fucking life. The sheriff says he wasn't found. Oh. It says shot down by sheriff. Oh, so this is just a random Is she just saying he's alive? Someone yeah, I thought it said the CIA or someone found him in Puerto Rico. Hey y'all, cool cats and kittens. Um not everyone is buying it. Hmm. She killed him. I am right. I mean, look, if he just faked his death, it's she did something that did inside killed him. <laughs> like, far worse than a, than a, than a hammer yeah, to the like, head, dude. <laughs> women don't have to kill men. <laughs> the sweet relief of a knife to the Two back. Years ago, <laughs> I asked Marin when that when that um uh, was a documentary about the court. Did Courtney Love kill Kurt Cobain? Okay, yeah. As you said, do you think Courtney like that? He goes, women don't have to kill men. <laughs> <laughs> He'd never say it yeah. now, but he said ne it. Yeah. And I never forgot it. That's true. Yeah, we we get back. The reason we, yeah, we get backed into a corner. That's what happens. This they give a, you the tools to kill yourself. I saw a very funny video. Earthquake posted. For some reason, Earthquake has the best meme page in the internet. He just, I don't know if he does it himself. I love the idea of- Does Earth he do Earth it himself? I love the idea of him wearing $200,000 diamond earrings and then just sharing memes. <laughs> yeah, the, videos. So he just finds him and puts them up. He just shares newsworthy videos. Are stuff. they good? <laughs> funny enough, yeah, but it's just oh, funny because it's Earthquake and it's like, Dude, earthquake. there's no way it's him, right? There's no way he's just sharing a Carol Baskin story. I but, wonder. I would. I would ask him because maybe he's got people do it, but maybe it's him. Maybe we can pull up if it's on Instagram. He had a video of some guy who got arrested for murdering his wife, and they just like they read back his Google search history. <laughs> oh, like like at four thirty a.m. It's like how to how to cover up a murdering your wife. Like, and it's oh, like, that's fantastic. And they, and they just keep going through the list, and it's like every five minutes, it's like how to, how to dissolve a body, how to do all this stuff. Jesus Christ! So if you type in earthquake, um. You think rappers are bad about snitching on themselves? That's yeah, they, amazing. They, they, this is the funniest. It's almost like a sketch. If they uh, is there a guy there? See that guy right in the middle there? Look, you'll see him down just below it. There you go. This is a funny one. Can we play it? We search how long before a body starts to smell. At four fifty-eight a.m. Five later. How to stop a body from decomposing? <laughs> at five twenty a.m. He searched how to embalm a body. At 5.47 a.m., 10 ways to dispose, dispose of a dead body if you really need a to. A dead body. <laughs> At 6.25 a.m. on the 1st, how long for someone to be missing to inherit? <laughs> At 6.34 a.m. on the 1st, 
<laughs> body parts. Body parts. Uh, you had a nap. What does formaldehyde do? You had a nap, look. At 9.34 a.m. on first, how long does DNA last? How at long? At 9.59 a.m., can identification be made on partial remains? At 11.34 a.m., disenmemberment and the best ways to dispose oh of Oh, my body. dear God. At 11.44, how to clean blood from the floor? At 11.56 on the first, luminol to detect blood. <laughs> at 108, what happens when you put body parts in ammonia? At 1.21 oh, p.m., is it better to throw crime scene clothes away or wash them? That's so funny. So funny. The best one I thought was just in the middle of all the covering of the body, how long to inherit? Like, he's just like, he goes, oh, that was pretty sick. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> to dry, I mean... We'll try to do the planning before the murder. That's cr yeah, yeah. We'll try to course. Google all that way before, yeah. and I. There was a guy in Ireland. Kevin Hart would would have prepared it. <laughs> Kevin Hart. That's how I would do a murder, like this idiot. I would, yeah, I'd meet up with Kevin and ask for direct, like. Kevin, Kevin would have a guy. Kevin has a guy. Kevin, yeah. has, Kevin's guy has a guy. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, all those guys have a guy. Uh, but that's just so funny. And uh, also, they probably didn't show what he really did. I wish they said like, you know, ordered breakfast. Like there was like he was watching porn at some point too. Like just jerked off. How to just get rid of a thing? Just pour it. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's whacking off, dude. Um, yo, are you a fat, lazy, unhealthy slob? You're listening to my podcast, watching it on YouTube. You probably are. We have a new partner, and it is Athletic Greens, baby. AG1 by Athletic Greens was the morning booster I needed. Honestly, look how ta look how tanned and healthy I look. <laughs> Go back to an old episode. I was the, I was just like you guys, blotchy, pale, my teeth were yellow. Look at me now. My dick is huge because of athletic greens. Do not sue me <laughs> if your dick doesn't grow. Just scoop, shake, and have alongside your morning coffee or OJ. Honestly, I've had the athletic greens and my girlfriend uh, gobbled it up. She munched it down. And she is losing. She's lost a lot of weight, actually. So now I have now I have to compliment. This is what you do. This is what you do, right? You can't call a woman fat, but when they do lose weight, you go, "Yo, you've never looked this good." That's yeah. So that's they, they, that's their way. That's your way of going, "Yo, Toby, shed some LBSs." I did fucking Fallon. Things are changing around here. All right, all right. Get your cellulite waddly fucking your little sweaty dumper out of here, bitch. Drink these athletic greens or I'm gonna cheat. Right? So uh cut all that. Alright, it's uh, it's like taking your shelf of multi multivitamins in one day. Um yeah, literally I had one of them. They taste good. You know how it is. It's not easy to eat healthy in this fast grind set mentality. So wake up every day, pour this green stuff in some stuff, drink it. You're gonna look great. Look at me. And then Donis. Um, if you're looking for an easier way to take your supplements, Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com slash column, C-O-L-U-M. That's athleticgreens.com slash column. Check it out. Back to the show. So a long, I don't know what show it was. It was like Dave had a, it was a Comedy Central thing. It was Dave's uh, stand-up show, you know, and it was at the underground. And um, Hotel? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And and it was, uh, so we're waiting to do our sets and, you know, the mics and shit set up. It was me, Jesse Joyce, and uh, Earthquake sitting okay. at the bar. Yeah. You know, they film you talking and all yeah. that shit. Uh, before. Oh, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> Earthquake had a, like a stripy sweater. It's like a yellow stripey sweater, okay? And um, the kid that comes over to, like, so some kid has no idea who Earthquake is. Okay, yeah. Okay, like, <laughs> so Jesse goes, okay, Kurt, uh, I want you to blah, blah, do this when the guy comes out. And like, then Jesse, you're going to go, okay, Bumblebee, I want you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude, you're fucking crying. <laughs> He just went for it and like I know it's something. I'm gonna say Bumblebee. <laughs> he knew. <laughs> and then Earthquake. Oh, and then the joy of telling no, it's actually Earthquake. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Mr. Earthquake. Yeah, that's so funny. Yeah, that must be it must be weird to in- introduce yourself. Now that he's like 50 or whatever. It's like, yeah. Yo, what's your name? Earthquake. Yeah. I everybody I when I was like started to whatever always respected Earthquake. Like everybody said he was Earthquake's, good. His special his recent special was fucking incredible. He used stunning. to go on Stern and shit and he was really good. Yeah, he mur- he murdered. It was probably the best because a lot of these guys who murdered that hard, it's like hard to catch it on camera. Yeah, right. Uh, but they, Chappelle produced it and they caught it somehow. I don't know what they did. So, but yeah, uh, right. Um, so you guys see uh, a tell at the comedy cellar and like, tr- like I, yeah. I would like try to trick him and tell him we're not filming it tonight. Yeah, a tell. I've I didn't know him before I moved here, and then yeah. I saw him, and I never quite saw him do do it at his best, best. And then it wasn't until one night at the cellar I went in and watched him do the thing. And it's just so levels above. Yeah, Edmonton. me and Jay, when we moved here, we ne- we just did all like chilling rooms, and then uh, so we first came, like Kev came up here first and was like already doing the cellar and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So me and Jay came up and we sat and and I had seen a tell on like Doctor Cads and shit, right? And I I, I was like, oh, I like this guy, but we saw him live, dude. We cr- like we were we were like cr- crying, la- like we could not even believe how funny it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. was so like, and then he would just hammer the crowd with funny shit. Yeah. Do you find, does he leak into your act? Does that one, like, do you notice little things? So, Cause sometimes Jay has a little. Leaks into my fucking cadence, pa- speech patterns in <laughs> my everyday life. <laughs> if you hang out with him, it's very hard not to catch, catch the uh, tells. Uh, Ari was telling me a story of seeing Earthquake back in LA, like 20 something years ago. And it was like some shitty little bar show. And he comes in and he just five minutes gets a standing ovation. And he, he goes, Earthquake! And then drops the mic. He just goes, Earthquake! Yeah. And drops the mic. And then like. <laughs> That's only about a 5.7 earthquake too. Imagine at the full. <laughs> <laughs> At the Richter scale? Yeah, the you full what? scale of an earthquake. You You're easy. not ready for it. You go, earthquake, what, what, what was that on the scale? That earthquake. can't be. <laughs> <laughs> what was that on the I felt some tremors. <laughs> earthquake. <laughs> Imagine that. Kurtquake. I called not. <laughs> Kurtquake. <laughs> Kurtquake. Drop the mic. And I wish I had thought of that 20 years ago to say <laughs> Kurtquake. Every time you kill, or, or if you bomb, you go, Kurtquake. And then oh. put the mic back in the stand. <laughs> Every time I come out of somebody's bathroom, I go, Kirkway. <laughs> um, yeah, but there was a guy in Ireland killed his wife, right? And he went, his wife died. Someone broke into the house, killed her, didn't steal out or something like that. And he went on like the main show, like to talk about it. Like our, our late night's kind of depressing, actually. It's not like, it's not like <laughs> our late night isn't like. So the guest is a guy we think might have killed his wife? The, the, the guest was a guy whose wife got murdered. He's not a suspect at all. Oh, and uh, but our, uh, late, oh, that's a great guess. L- uh, yeah, there's a lot of rape victims on late night TV in Ireland. I don't know what. And then you'll have like a comedian. <laughs> but over here, it's always just like, hey, here's fucking carpool. Karaoke. So like a Johnny Carson type of format show. Yeah. Yeah. They bring out and rape victims and all the time. Yeah. Widows of murdered people. Exactly. Widowers. Widowers. Yeah. <laughs> it's so Irish, dude. Yeah. Well, it's just it, it started. That show's been around since the 60s. But they mix it up and they go, coming up after the break, we've got a tap dancing dog. Hey. Now a widow. <laughs> so I'll tell, and then but the guy goes on TV and he's talking about it and he's crying and all this stuff and everyone watched it and went he fucking did it like because they the way he was acting and then he got brought into the the police station the next day. Can I day. tell you what the problem is? You guys aren't you guys are, are mixing and matching your daytimes and your nighttimes <laughs> programming. That's now that's a daytime story. Yeah. Yeah, the guy crying. Uh, that's daytime TV. That's your Oprahs yeah. and your. You yeah. Know, he that's, not, that's not your late night calm. It's not appropriate to have the full range of human emotion on a show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But look, it's just what old school te- television used to be like a mix like that. They'd have serious conversations. Yeah, no, it should do not in any way resemble a three dimensional uh, <laughs> human's <laughs> range of feeling. <laughs> well, he, he, that guy, he, he only got <clears throat> caught because they, they developed new technology. They were able to track a phone because he sent a text outside the house or something but he said he was at work because he was able to be like i'm not at work in the office why would you go on a show and talk about it like that you complete asshole <sighs> yeah dickhead you know you could so easily go look i don't want to talk it really is upsetting to me and i i, don't, I really don't want to be on a tv show like you're gonna be a maniac to do that there's, look he just googled the irish guy kills his wife and there's like so many people there's just so many that's why divorce i know well divorce is like still taboo so <laughs> you gotta get rid of them somehow and what, uh, what's that actor the- it might have been the murder of elaine o'hara look Wait, dude, what's that movie? It just it's on HBO Max, and it's got um the guy that played the penguin in the new Batman, Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell. Oh, then, the um, Banshee of Inishmore. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, no. yeah, the and it's like 
Because I watched a preview for it. It's just like, who's the other guy? Uh, Call him Meany. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. No, no, uh, no, no. Brent, Brandon Gleason. Brandon Gleason. Yeah, Brendan Gleason. And Colin Farrell. And Colin Farrell. And, uh, <laughs> and the story is Brendan Gleason just doesn't want to talk to him anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and then the whole town is like, he's just not going to talk. I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, I, don't, I haven't seen it, but apparently the whole story is just weird. I mean, I want to watch it because of it, because it's so like... Someone who goes, I don't want to be friends with you anymore. He's like, why? I just, I, don't, I guess that's it. That's the story. <laughs> that, yeah, but I mean, it looked actually like intriguing. Yeah. Why doesn't, why doesn't he want to? The, those two guys, Great and Bruges, and then they did the... Oh yeah, Bruges is And good. then I think, I'm pretty sure it's the same director. It's the same squad of people. And they yeah. also did The Guard, which was a pretty good one too. Oh um, yeah, the guard. I showed uh, a black guy. I hadn't seen it a long ass time. I showed it to my girl who had not seen it. it was uh, Sexy Beast. Remember that fucking Sexy Beast? No, I don't know. Do you ever see it? Yeah, what, dude. That's a what's the who's the guy? Gandhi. Irish movie? Or no, it's a British. movie. It's uh, who, fuck. What's his, whose guy played? Ben Kingsley is in it. It's the best criminal. Oh, it's where all those people like Ray Winston. That's the first time I ever saw him. Oh wow, it was fucking awesome. Maybe I've seen this. Yeah, and then uh, the guy from uh, Deadwood, what's that? Who ended up in everything? That yeah, Ben Kingsley. Yeah, that's the first time I ever saw him. Wow. <clears throat> but uh, yeah. Ben Kingsley, it's the best like yeah, Ben Kingsley. psychotic yeah. criminal guy I've ever seen played by anybody. I think it's my favorite. He's such a fucking good like, uh, he, and it's like he's not like you can tell it's not cool to be around him. Like, oh, it's not sexy he, he, at all how he is. It's, it's like a real pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, working with him, he's like, yeah, you fucking... No, no, I mean the character. Uh, oh, I, mean, like, oh. I, I, I understand he's uh, delightful to work with. Is he work really? With. I don't, I don't I'd, know. I'd imagine some, some of these actors are so good, you go, he's a prick. Like, you know, he's just... You know who's fucking cool to work with was uh, Steve Buscemi. Yeah? The guy's the best, dude. He's so ugly, he has to be down to earth. <laughs> um, I mean, I didn't say that to him, but like he would probably say that to you, and then probably like, "Yeah, I'm ugly." Yeah, be that. He's like, "Yeah, yeah." The, all you do is tell you awesome stories. You did him with uh, Horse and Pete. Pete. That was that's a fuck. No one talks about that enough. That was a fucking great. Well, show. he made a lot of money, right? Um, <laughs> well, but uh, he would tell me, Pete. dude. He told me about uh, Reservoir Dogs. Mm. Not Reservoir Dogs. Uh, Reservoir is that what it is? Yeah, yeah Reservoir Dogs. Mister Pink. Yeah. So who's the uh, Sean Penn's brother? That was uh, that wore the tracksuit. Yeah, Chris Penn. He's like, oh my god, that guy was so awful. He, he, it was hilarious. The story he told. He says, I if I should even spread this around, but I will. <laughs> no, no, so just, no. He said the guy was like, because the guy was mean to him. <laughs> we got a scoop, fellas. TMZ. He goes. He was the guy was like really like kind of shitty to him. He said like kind of weird and bullyish at him, and it was like unpleasant. And he goes, <laughs> he made me laugh so much. He goes like. Because the character doesn't like his character. Mm. Like he explained, it, like, hey, listen, I had to be like a dick because my guy doesn't like your guy. Like, but now we can be friends. He's like, oh, all right. <laughs> he said, then they were friends. And it was so much worse than what he was. <laughs> <laughs> and then he told me Pulp Fiction, you know, he's Buddy Holly, the waiter, when they go to the 50s diner. Yeah. He said, I can't remember which exec came out and saw his Buddy Holly. He goes, oh my God, that's f amazing. Like, how do they get your teeth like that? <laughs> Dude, he has a million of like hilarious. Stuff, yeah, he cause his eyes are weird, and he first responded. Right, he's a comic. He started as a comic. He Did showed he? me an old seller poster with him and Rick Crumbs. Rick Crumbs on it. Wow, <laughs> Rick Crumbs teaching his. Yeah, yeah that's so funny. Steve was a fuck. He was like, uh, he remind me like uh, stand up hanging out with him because he was. He, he was like oh, if you hang like, out with a comic. Yeah, on the set, yeah, he yeah, was like yeah. that. Yeah, wow, yeah, that was a great fucking show. Um, I Steve remember we is, told uh, what's her name? The who's the one on American Horror Story? Uh, Jessica Lang. You know Jessica Lange? No, Lang. I don't know. I don't know. You know Jessica Lang, right? I, I no. You ever seen American Horror Story? I have not. I don't think so. I'm not. That, that chick. I've honestly no idea who this woman is at all. She's on it. And so I had seen the, when, whenever we made this, it, it was when uh, the Freaks one was on the season. Of it. But um, both me and Bajemi were in like Louis' kitchen and she was in there. And I was about to say, I like you on that thing. And he said it first. He goes, he goes, hey, I really like you on that show. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I like it. Like, I just jumped it. She goes, I fucking hate that show. <laughs> like, wow, she's good, dude. <laughs> she, you'd never know from the excellence. Yes. Um, yeah, Steve's, Steve's the man. He's, he's in a lot of fucking 
fucking funny stuff. And then he was like first responder for a while, right? Am I am I crazy about that? I oh, think- dude, his prison movie I I love. He was like surprised anybody saw it when I said that, but I thought it was great. And Jason one showed me that too. Animal Factory. He's got Mickey Rourke in his greatest role as yeah. a trans prisoner. <laughs> yeah, he's a trans born. cellmate of Edward Furlong. Yeah. It's fucking great. <laughs> oh, shit. Look at that. Yeah, there he is. Dude, look, look, dude wait. Look. What's the firehouse? Is that the one that's... Did he work out of the one that was by Anderson Cooper? That's now Anderson Cooper's... House? Well, uh, house. <laughs> I don't know. Next to the Bag It In. Next to the Bag It In was a firehouse, and then Anderson Cooper bought it. Yeah, oh, yeah. And put, like, more poles in it. <laughs> <laughs> we need more hoses. More poles. <laughs> It's a little on the nose, Anderson. <laughs> wee, wee, the alarm going off. Wee, wee. I'm worried it may still not be gay. <laughs> just, yeah, you just hear blasting. Everybody dance now. Boom. Anderson fucking group. Um, did you hear about? The, do you have any opinion? What's this? Andrew Callahan, the, the news reporter, finds oh, yeah. talk about this guy. This Andrew Callahan. So what I don't know him. Ryan Longs knows him. He said Ryan Longs knows all the dark. Web. <laughs> Ryan Long knows the whole dark web. He does. I'm telling you, Ryan Long's on the phone to Ben Shapiro every day, fucking hanging out. Um, and what you do, the, um, what's the, sh- the, you do that show, Jimmy Dore show. Jim, you do the oh, Jimmy yeah, Shore Jimmy show. Yeah, you on that full time all the time. Yeah, Jimmy's fucking the man. Yeah, Jimmy rules. Yeah, he's he's got he, a real Irish fucking he, family. He, didn't he lose like a, twelve kids? Does he? Wow. Yeah, he not his own. Oh, okay. He don't have kids. He come. He's like uh, a baby of like twelve people. Yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah, everyone's like that, though. Every single person. How Catholic can you get? Every person I know in Ireland, their grandparents have fucking 10 siblings, easily. There's uh, they got to be a few to, you know, like, uh, to tip the priest with. <laughs> <laughs> there was a legitimately... Yeah, they got a few extra kids, that, you know. Le- legitimately, though, that was a good thing where they had you had to give one of your kids to the church. Like, they had, like, the church would show up and, like, which one of your kids is going to be a priest? And they were, like, they, they got the next one, the fruity one. That they they would send the queers. Like, oh was, right, that makes sense. They would. That's what they would. So the church had a because that's let's face it. That's what that was. They, Besides not having inheritance, it also was you could find all the gays in the fam- family of twelve. There's going to be <laughs> one or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would encourage you to have a. There's going to be like kind of a softball <laughs> kind of they, girl. They would then, send like the autistic ones and the gay guys to be priests. Like that was like they would they would wait until they're about ten and go. That makes yeah, a lot of sense. Some people had no choice. Like their parents were like, "You're a priest." You're and priest. that's how they got. That's why they got all that. The church got all that stuff that was just being destroyed elsewhere because you had a lot of gay appreciation of a lot of like world literature and yeah, like yeah, 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 an artistic yeah. catalog. They were like, look at art and stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They'd appreciate shiny fucking yeah, things. Dude. All the jewelry. was just them. I'd like to know. Just gay guys loving bling. You know, a lot That's- of people don't give Epstein enough credit for all the he did for science. <laughs> you know they all like focus the, on this one uh, fuck island but like, the guy he made uh it's like operation paperclip yeah robots <laughs> for girls <laughs> he had a lot of weird art too didn't he well, did you hear about this uh, jamie lee curtis thing she posted a photo of her new cheers which uh, which we never fig- they were, of her what her cheers she fo- posted a photo of her cheers going look at my uh, po- and, uh J- was it jackson pollock cheers or were we making that up it's a pollock chair so it's either the brand or design by her but he's dead, right? Surely he's long dead, isn't he? Jackson Pollock? Am I retarded? I have no idea enough, but this is she posted this photo of her living room with the with the chairs, and when you zoom in, it's a naked boy in a That's suitcase. an artist that a bunch of these people have. You know who else has that art? The Hollywood um, elite, everyone? Uh, not John Podesta, but Tony Podesta, the brother of John Podesta. <laughs> Did you ever see? Put him Tony Podesta's oh, art. Yeah, so free. And that's why Pizzagate got kicked off. Because of his art, partially. He's got, if you think, so first of all, all these actors and shit, like, yeah. remember when you could have a dark sense of humor and it was cool? Well, now those days are gone and a byproduct of all these Hollywood dipshit. I'm not that I know she was like that, but yeah. they all got on board with like, yeah, we don't, we don't joke like that. Meanwhile, they got like art of kids stuffed in plastic bins. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Like. Because they all just go with a trend, right? They don't have any fucking feelings. There yeah, you go. Just, are they just dead kids in the, in yeah, the, in the field? Yeah, that's like some of the greatest art. And it's like. That's so expensive. Yeah, just a bunch of kids. To- oh, wow. That's so, fucked up. That's trippy, dude. Uh, that's a cool Halloween costume. It's actually a fucking. Let me see the other Is picture. someone dressed up like that for Wait, Halloween? Wait, go back to the goat thing. That's a bit. Oh, that's a bit strange. 
Um, yeah, that's a fucking f fucked up one. Yeah, something. Look, dude, here's the thing. I get it. Art can be anything, but it's like you don't need it to be that. You don't need to be. We don't need it to be kids. Oh my god, that's fucked up. Is that someone? Go back to that one. We'll probably get fucking taken off YouTube for that. Look at that one. Wait, that's a fucking. I didn't know about that one. No, that's just weird. That Jake Shields guy. He he probably just painted that himself. <laughs> Wait. Oh, ew. Jake Shields is always like the defender of. He's like, he's, I don't know who he what is. What do you mean he's defender? He's always just coming at like uh, the, the Hollywood uh, Satanists. But he's, yeah. Oh, so oh, know. hey, come on. <laughs> Fucking bullying. <laughs> oh, he's always bullying the Satanists. <laughs> um, so that's kind of, uh, you know, that Balenciaga thing that it got. Yeah. And um, that's like at the very top, uh, you know, you can't even tell the difference. What I'm sure it is, is a whole bunch of people, like they don't care. They're like, oh, that's hilarious. Fabulous. It's pushing yeah, edgy. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Like, so there's this weird thing of low, like your Legion of Skanks level edgy that's frowned upon mm -hmm. as low class, mm -hmm. right? Then you move up to a certain where it's like not edgy at all. Then you get to the very top and it's so edgy. Everyone's like, what it's the kinda, fuck yeah, is this? Yeah, like, when it comes out to the public, you're like, no, 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 this is just. Oh, art. yeah, this is. So this this shit came out. It's amazing. By the way, look how, sp you know, they chose that little ginger because of like spooky looking child. Like, yeah, that course. was like an intentional. Look at these spooky looking children. Those um, kids are weird. Well, those kids are weird enough on their own. It's spooky because you can see on their faces that they don't understand this. Yeah. Like um, the, the one of them, she's she's a little touched there anyway. That so one. like the, she's got a little something. A bunch of them are just stupid, okay? And then the rest of them, there's a, a small amount that work within that Here's, that here's the question. Thing. Like, look, you know, those kids aren't particularly good looking, right? Who? These kids, right? Like, I mean, they're, they're not fine. Like, they're not. Are you kidding me? So whose parent is like. I don't know. I'm not judging them sexually. I, we have to. We have to. That's what we're doing. We're right, out of I, 10. Out of 10. <laughs> How likely are you to, if you had to, which one would you pick? <laughs> I mean, that look, like, we do dude, look how crazy, like, the, I don't know what this thing is. Of but like, who's the ginger parents that were like, yo, we should make her a model? Like, they're or fucking, like, some like, LA pedophile ring? Dude, it's as old as time, sacrificing a child to Moloch. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of that thing? The place? The place in LA where you, you think they killed the owl? Bohemian Grove. They Bohemian like remake Grove. That's the, not in LA, is it? Oh, it's in, San, it's in the Redwoods. It is. Is it, where is it? San Francisco? Yeah, Redwoods. I'm going to San Francisco. I'd maybe I'll go out, hang out, just kill an owl. Yeah, and, it, and it's like, I, I always took that place from the old video when Alex Jones bravely snuck it, and then you see that stupid pageant they do yeah it's it's and there's just like, some larping idiots it right? reminded me when i go to jehovah witness assemblies as a kid and they would do a drama in the middle of the stadium what's that what a drama mean? like they would act out a bible story oh, and they cool. all got costumes on right yeah, and yeah. then it's they're just like waving their arms they're not saying anything just it's like a sea world <laughs> presentation <laughs> so that's what this was at bohemian grove and i'm like these people are so important that they can't just get whores and do blow <laughs> without yeah, you all got to put on a robe and we're all going down if anyone finds out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like, that's the length you have to go to to cut loose. Yeah. Like, if you're poor, you just fuck in the street. Nobody gives a yeah, shit. Yeah, you're just ripping bad coke. And, so, yeah. yeah, that's an older generation's. The funniest thing is Richard Nixon talking about it. <laughs> yeah. That's like one of the greatest, like. Yeah. Is he on, like, he's on tape, is he? Yeah, you never heard it? Uh, yeah, yeah. I just trying to remember. Um. I don't want to repeat it, but surely the president Nixon can say it, right? <laughs> Best president of yeah, all time. Yeah, Nixon on Bohemian Grove. This is great. It's a So, so he so he stood there like this. So yeah, he's a politician. It's like when you, they go to some stupid yeah. country and they hand you like a sacred herbs or something, and you're you like know, a bunch Great. of that. A bunch of that crap is to like everybody's like, oh, it's a play. Yeah, and w there's just it only takes a few people that are really into it, and then they create an environment of like, hey, we're just playing, and if then Rogan, they can operate. If Rogan 
had something like that, I'd be dressed up like a fucking wizard <laughs> and be like, yeah, Rogan, yeah. this is genius. Put me on the podcast. We're already doing that. So no. they, most of these guys put on the robe and they're like, the, the wife's like, where are you going? I was like, I've got to do this. Did you fucking, ever see- um, I got to sacrifice a fucking owl. I'll you, be back. But, you know, <laughs> listen, it pays the bills, wait babe. for the owl. Yeah. It probably feels like how I felt in a lot of like a church meetings where I would go to. <laughs> yeah. Just like, like, now we're doing the song. The, yeah. Yeah. Some stuff. La, 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 uh, you're that guy, Anton LaVey, the Church of Satan guy from the 60s. No. Yeah. Yeah, and See, he, here's the thing. Fonzie's deep into this. Fonzie genuinely believes um, Bohemian Grove, they sacrifice children. He thinks they're raping them. Well, not at that ceremony. They, if somebody somebody there probably does something with a child, sure, in that larger group of rich people. Every every group big enough, there's going to be a guy killing a child. Like That's just a, sort of the way it works. Right? Yeah. Okay, so this guy. More, well, more so in, oh, so this guy. So he's He looks like, like Ben Kingsley. Yeah, dude, his, dude, where's his little devil horn outfit? So he he invented like a Satanist. Uh, he invented oh. the church. Yeah, <laughs> such a bad so, question. <laughs> I know. So he fucking doesn't. That's believe. like when you dress up a puppy in like a little costume. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like what you dress a dog in. <laughs> oh, this is a little wiener dog devil. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> so he yeah, supposedly in his bathroom of his like Satan house, the other things that smile. You're on camera. I know this is why I was listening to a podcast about, it. and uh. And they say like, he kind of liked to watch people in the bathroom, you know, like a Chuck Berry guy. And I'm like, I wonder how much of this whole get up and the whole thing was, cause the guy just wants to watch people shit. Okay. <laughs> you can't, you can't just be like, Hey, I want to watch you shit. You got to set up an entire like ceremony. That's how you get the chicks to yeah. like, it's like a serenading process for yeah. I have a bunch of shits like that. Like, yeah. If like, how much civilization is just based on? Because this is a religion that people have still. Yeah, it just keeps running. It kind of almost like just based yeah. on this guy wanted to watch people shit, and he could have cut all this out if we were more open. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he would have had to dress up like the Guidos when I grew up with in Jersey, and they would listen to his music. I'm like, I know you think girls like that music, and that's what the girls you want to bang like that. Yeah. And so that's what they do. And it is what he I, had to do. If you want to watch people shit, you got to dress up in a little. But my theory is that about um, a lot of trans women, they're just guys who want to listen to women fart in cubicles. So they go, they, they pretend to be a woman and they just sit there and listen to people fart. Well, so they, I don't you know what the, the new generation is. The old generation, <laughs> I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have said that. Because New York, like, it's a ton of trans. Like, when I, I had a college uh, a friend when I was at Institute who transitioned. Mm. No, this wasn't like shit that was you heard about every single day with a flag attached to it mm -hmm. at the time. And um, we we're going to lunch and we we're back from like some break. Uh, and he go and I was like, oh, yeah, how was your your vacation? He goes, it sucked. Like I, I, I told my parents I was gay. They disowned me. All the, I was like, holy. I didn't have any inkling this guy was gay at all, by the way. Yeah. I didn't have an issue with it. I was like, oh, well, it sucks. Though. So I'm, and we hang out. And then a little while later, he started becoming a he's like, I'm actually a woman. And started uh, hanging out with my girlfriend more at the time, and uh, was doing like uh, I don't know unsafe things I think to try to get hormones. Yeah, but I remember asking about you know because you always like, oh, what do you chop your dick off? I always thought that was like a shitty joke to make because I asked that legitimately to this friend. It was like no, most people mostly don't do that because it castrates you. It's not like, you know, you get an actual ovaries instead of thing. They just cut your shit off. So mo that's why they, a lot of chicks with dicks. That was the thing back then mm. was don't do that. Just keep, you know, Bailey J that used to be the announcer on Jim Norton show. You know, Bailey J, right? No, I don't. No. That porn star that's trans that, that pulls off. <laughs> like Bailey J pulls off being a chick, but has a long dick. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she's married some guy. But I don't ever even have a thing where I'm like, I'll say she. Because really subliminal like it's nothing i control with if i say that right like yeah, without know. a problem because of how she but the new generation now mm. so now there's a creepy thing happening and i think i should probably do it whoever makes those drugs and whoever does that surgery because the new thing is like you definitely do it oh yeah 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 and uh there's all but and they don't talk about the stuff that goes around along with the operation and a bunch of people are autistic now for some whatever fucking reason <laughs> I mean, like, really autistic. Yeah. And guess what? We don't have a priesthood the way Ireland yeah. handled it. Yeah. And guess yeah. what happens? They become furries. <laughs> they become diaper F words. <laughs> the agate one, not the uck one. That's their term, not mine. Diaper, diaper. Yeah, diaper. Diaper Fs. <laughs> agate phase. Can you pig Latin it? That's their word for their thing, <laughs> not my insult. 
<laughs> I don't know why you picked that name that well, I'm not allowed to say, but yeah. you Google it if you don't believe me. <laughs> um, and it's very shame-based kind of shit. In fact, there's one guy, I wish I remember whose channel, I always look on YouTube of like exposés of other weirdos on YouTube. Mm. And uh, this one guy would, would write racist, he's like a diaper, you know what. <laughs> A diaper gay wad. Di can, can we make the title of this diaper agates? I'll call, him, we, a, I'll call, him, a, I'll call him a diaper mo. <laughs> a diaper I'll, I'll say a diaper mo. I don't know. I'm trying to meet him halfway here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's a diaper mo. Diaper mo. That's what he says. Yeah. And then um, he sends racist shit to people. He goes, oh my God, I keep doing this. Somebody's got to stop me. So this black girl headed channel was like, I feel like he wants me to be like, this guy just said the N word to me. And that's what his kink is. He needs to be exposed online and then publicly shamed for what he said online. Ah. That's evolution, dude. That's fucking amazing. And you're saying that's without, without that's an entire fucking sexuality developed or kink developed out of modern. Yeah. Yeah. Like what was the old medieval version of that? Where like be shamed in the. I guess the stocks and pretending uh, to be a witch or something. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm totally a witch. Oh, yeah. Shit what shame. if you're a woman back then? That's the only way you could come was a witch yeah. trial where they drown you yeah, a little they, bit. She, she's like, oh, I'm a dirty witch. You know, you don't hear about that side of it. Yeah. The yeah. ones that wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what time is it? It's really. Um, okay. We must be out of there in an hour. Are we? Yeah. Let's look. Uh, look so uh, we have some. Obviously, check out Kurt on the road. One of the best comedians. Um, White Precious, one of the best albums. Kurt uh, Comedy, uh, dot com. Go check him out. And, uh, Potentially St. Patrick's Day in yeah, LA. Maybe. That'd be sick. Um, all right, but look, we always end with a question from the. If you want to get a question, um, if you want to get a question on the podcast, head up to patreon.com slash column Terrell. This one comes in from Alistair Mitchell. If you boys could bring three metallic. Metallo I can't say that word. Was it Myth mythological. mythological? Metallurgical. Metallurgical extinct species back into the modern world. What would they be? I mean, three is too many. Let's just do one. Fuck you, Alistair. Wait, what is the first word? Met what? Mythological. mythological. Oh, mythological Myth extinct species or extinct species. Oh, oh, okay. So like a dragon or the dodo or um, I don't know, white tiger. Did that, 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 they want white rhinos or something? Didn't they fucking? And why? Uh, like a dinosaur. See. Okay. That'd be pretty sick. Number one. Vel uh, Velociraptor. Young guys that are dressed up like chicks who actually can play the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> they don't just dress up like a chick. <laughs> what they do that. They actually play guitar. <laughs> Motley Crue was all trans. We were all very cool with it. <laughs> That's what the kids don't even have to learn any licks now. <laughs> You have to justify your trans. You're just like gender core. <laughs> yeah, so you don't say talent. Okay, that's one. Talented um, man dresses women. Um, I would bring back... Extinct uh, species. Jesus Christ to f ask him what fucking race he was. Said all that shit. Yeah. Brown. Because I'm shocked at how much... I mean, brown, I mean maybe brown. this sounds... He's white though, right? I, I, just I don't want to sound chauvinistic, but... I don't know if you know about Korea, like the Moonies and shit, but no, no. a lot of Koreans think they're Jesus back from a lot of Korean. He's a, Jesus? he's a Korean guy. And I'm like, no fucking way. I'm just dismissing it. But we wouldn't have followed. If, no, if I could bring listening. him back, I maybe I owe an apology uh, to the Reverend Sun Young Moon. <laughs> there's no way Jesus had a little fucking Asian accent talking to the 12. I just don't follow. see him and I don't see him. Jesus was the not racist, and I don't see an, an Asian non-racist Jesus, number one. <laughs> I don't see that. I just don't think people would be listening to a little Asian man. They just, they, well, like, your white guys don't listen Okay, to but keep in mind, if this is in Europe, Asian also means uh, Southeast Asian, right? Like India. In, and, yeah, India, yeah. Yes, and that, we're going it, American rules. Yeah. Would, what my friend Big J understands to be Asian would be... China, Japan, Korea, you know. Can you Google it, uh, Korean Jesus and see if we have a photo or something of what he looks oh like God. in this world? Just a long haired. Well, they made 21 Jump Street. Oh, yeah, they did have that joke in um, 21 Jump Street. But there's a lot. See, so Korea has a very like. He could be Korean fucking Jesus. You're right. It doesn't look, yeah, look at that. Shredded Jesus. Wow. What is he on? Because he's kind of got that Fu Manchu. Trend blown. <laughs> <laughs> I 
little Jesus and his and little fucking tiny crucifix. Um, all right, so you, we're gonna bring. All right, thank you for those questions. They were great. Appreciate it. I know you. You gotta gotta get out of here. Kurt. Is that it? Yeah. Well, there's another question if we want to get into it real quick. But you, you gotta. We'll save that for Patreon. Look again. Classic anticlimactic ending to the show. Oh wow, that um, is anticlimactic. Oh, do you want to do another question? Yeah, I do one all more. Right, before. Okay, we'll, 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 let's pull this one out. Uh, <laughs> Didn't set right. All right, so this question comes in from Dr. Simon's Abortion Clinic and Pizzeria. No fetus can beat us. Your loss is our sauce. Interesting. Is that a question? That's his name on Patreon. The guy who oh asked the God. question. Goes, really want to work that bit in, huh? Okay. <laughs> um, would you fuck an alien if it was sentient? Like aliens came and they were sexy. Um. um uh, mm. What if the lobster? What if it was a lobster species and was intelligent, like, and they wanted their lobster pussy? Eh? They don't. I, I'm not. I don't think I'm fucking at, and that's not. Uh, would human. I fertilize the row that they deposited on a, under an, a rock? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> so I brought it up on um, J on bonfires. I bring it up as much as I can in this story because of. Uh, but you know about Peter the dolphin? It, no. I first. Because the way I learned all of the story was over time because I first saw some random Rogan clip where he's talking about the John Lilly, the guy that did the all was it altered states that movie where, where the guy would experiment with LSD. His name is John Lilly. And he had these dolphin experiments going where it's like a house partially submerged in water and a woman, a human woman lives in the house with the dolphin. Like she has a bed, but you like get in the water. So the dolphin like lives with her and um. I don't know if they're trying to teach it to talk or some shit. As soon as I say, and um, but she ended up. It ended up she would like jerk off the dolphin every day. Every day. Well, so to transport it back to these female dolphins was like a kind of a hassle to go through. So it was easier to just let him finish. Is how they uh, worded it. And she ended up like, and then he was more cooperative with the experiments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, so it was just easier. Okay. And um, so. I, uh, they found out about it or whoever, whoever, whenever I guess word got out and they <laughs> put a stop to the experiments. Okay. So that's all I heard at that point. Then I had a show in, <laughs> in Cincinnati at Go Bananas. I was talking about that with somebody and the guy goes, yeah, you know, that dolphin killed himself. <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Like, you know, like, hanging I, I text a real, he goes, what? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. And I didn't bother looking up. You know, it's not that important yeah, to really yeah. get to the bottom of it, but Oh yeah! <laughs> you know, like, how did he do it? Like, like, I thought like he maybe jumped out of a pool and there's like a big fan that he just like yeah. Because I don't know what you do, but Smash he drowned his himself. He he submerged his blowhole and took on water and killed. So that's deliberate. That's insane. Yeah, and he um, killed himself like yeah. like that by drowning. Because the lady would didn't like and that was blue like, balls. Yeah, such blue balls. Well, yeah, because they can't masturbate. That's another. That's like so. Callum, that's exactly. <laughs> So imagine that you're that intelligent of an animal, or you suicidal, <laughs> depression animal, and uh, you had fins and you had no idea, you had no idea what you were just missing the whole time. Yeah. And then an angel comes down from outer space, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. jerks you off every day, and then just leaves abruptly. Yeah, and they're yeah, and they're fucking crazy smart, and they're just like you probably have a religion developed around it in your head, and yeah. like an afterlife and shit. They couldn't get in the little fucking oh, blow also, the, fuck? the experiment. If you were wondering, like, what what was what were these experiments for? <laughs> there was uh, NASA. These were NASA funded experiments. Oh yeah, and they were trying to see if they could, if we encountered alien life, if we could potentially communicate with them. So they're trying to communicate with the dolphin first. And uh, I think we did. <laughs> we just jerk them off. <laughs> We've made a breakthrough, sir. <laughs> uh, yo, thanks for your questions, guys. Kurt, thank you for your time. Thanks, I appreciate man. it, man. Thank you. All right, cool. All right, guys. Thanks, man. I appreciate it.